Are you trying to figure out video hosting for your online course, especially if it's on a WordPress website? What are you gonna do about video hosting? In this video, I'm gonna show you the guided tour of the best video hosting options for an online course on a WordPress website. And I'm gonna go into some of the nuances on how to set up those tools correctly and how to get the most value out of your video host on your WordPress course, membership, LMS website, whatever you call it. My name's Chris, I'm the CEO and co-founder of Lifter LMS, the world's most powerful, customizable learning management system for WordPress. And be sure to stay to the end of this video because I'm gonna share an exclusive resource with you to help you get results even faster. But let's go ahead and jump right into our tour. So the first thing we're gonna look at is the most popular video host I've worked with tens of thousands of course creators building LMS websites for themselves or for their clients. Hands down, the most popular option is called Vimeo Pro. This is not the free version of Vimeo. And there's also a smaller paid thing they have called Vimeo Plus. Don't get that. If you're a course creator and you're monetizing your videos, you need to be on Vimeo Pro. So just looking at this, and we're recording this at the end of 2021, the pricing is, um, where are we at? Is approximately $20 a month. So we're looking at around $240 a year. So uh, two, $240 a year for your video hosting now, you can absolutely upload videos to your WordPress site that we don't recommend that. Uh, it's a lot of heavy lifting and pressure you're putting on your web hosting account. We definitely recommend using a video host like Vimeo Pro. Uh, here is one of my course sites. This one's actually about organic beekeeping. And uh, this is actually not the course site, but this is the inside the Vimeo Pro account. One of the things that I love about Vimeo Pro are the privacy controls. So you can see here where I can hide this um, from my Vimeo account. But, and I've also, the most important feature is what's called um, domain privacy. So over here, I'm saying that this video is embeddable only on this one website. So I love this privacy setting, uh, super helpful. But they also have like some color and some branding stuff you can do with the video, but, um, yeah, this is, this is simple. You upload it. Vimeo allows you to do folders and you can put that on your site. The next one that's really popular is called Wistia. It's a little more expensive. And uh, let's see if we can get the pricing up here. We actually use this uh, $99 per month. It's quite a bit more. Um, it has, you know, a few more features that we like it. Lifter LMS in terms of controlling the player and whatnot, but I definitely notice in the course creator community, uh, Wistia is popular, but Vimeo Pro is by far much more popular. Um, and if we go look, uh, this is my Vimeo Pro account. So this is what it looks like. I'm inside of a folder called the Quick Start Course 2020. Uh, and you can see I uploaded all my uh, lesson videos and um, and then from there, uh, all I need to do to put them inside the LMS, which we'll look at in a second, is just take this link for like this lesson and put it in the, in the lesson. And that's it. That's all there is to it. One of the cool things about Wistia, you can see over here, is that you can customize the thumbnail, the controls. Uh, they got a bunch of features here that you can check out. Um, one of the cool things I like about it too is the replace media feature. So if you're doing a online course, especially where you're screen sharing and especially if it's about something that's changing a lot like technology and you need to upload an updated version of the lesson, but you don't want to have to go into the site and, you know, put in a new link or anything, you can just replace the media, you know, the link's not going to change. And then you have some options around the analytics. Um, inside the the video hosting here to like start from scratch or keep going on top of the old analytics perhaps if you just changed a little portion of the video so that's some of the cool stuff about wistia the third option is the most economical which is uh youtube um so 
If you don't know, so inside of YouTube, like if I were to edit this video here, this is a lesson video um, right here. Uh, if you want to, you can make the visibility over here as unlisted. And what that means is people are not going to be able to find this video in a search or on your channel or anything like that. Um, and you can use that inside your course on your WordPress website. Um, it's definitely the most economical. The downsides are, you know, if people kind of click the title and get the get out of your website and onto YouTube, the, the, they can see the video. Basically, what unlisted means is that if you have the link to the video, um, you can see it. So it's not quite as secure. Um, so that's something to think about. If you're doing like free courses that are more for marketing than um, products like information products, courses and stuff like that, there can be a benefit to hosting your videos on YouTube uh, and then putting them in the course and having them be public, not unlisted or private. And that way, um, you know, you're just getting more output for the same amount of effort. Basically, you've got the course kind of like we do here. I'll show you exactly what I mean. Um, on the Lifter LMS Academy site, let me pull this up right here. Uh, we switched out our quick start course right here. We've redone this course many times. I was actually showing it to you a little bit earlier uh, inside the Wistia folder there, but you can see inside here, now we're using the YouTube videos. So not only are we getting the, um, the video content uh, hosting in here. I don't particularly like the fact that there's this giant button and somebody could leave my, my website and go to YouTube. But right now I'm just trying to get people to see for this particular course, which is free. I'm just trying to educate people about the best learning management system for WordPress, which is called Lifter LMS. So if they watch it over here or they watch it over on the uh, YouTube channel, it, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. So you can see here that I've actually got a playlist of that, those videos, which is the course basically, but just formatted in the world of YouTube, like a playlist. So this helps people um, discover and learn about the best learning management system for WordPress, uh, but either on YouTube or if they're already on our site, they can jump into the course and consume the same content there. Um, so like I mentioned, uh, I'm from Lifter LMS, so we're just going to pull that up. And you can see here, this is the Lifter LMS website. And Lifter LMS has these add-ons, and there's a particular one related to videos called Advanced Videos here. And what this allows you to do is it, it gives you some features for your online course, and it, it's designed to work with Vimeo Pro, Wistia, and YouTube so far but you can uh, basically require learners to watch the whole lesson before they can complete a lesson. So it basically gives you, allows people not to be able to game your online course and just like click a mark complete button as if they watched the whole video lesson and didn't. Um, it also introduces more advanced video analytics into your LMS reporting. Um, if somebody loses focus and tries to go over to Facebook or another website, it'll stop the video from playing. And then there's kind of like a Netflix style auto progression at the end of lesson videos onto the next one that you can enable. Um, so that's a cool feature uh, inside of Lifter LMS. Um, and that's using the uh, advanced videos add on. You can see here I'm on a lesson and you can, you know, modify these features on a per course or per lesson basis around the auto advance requiring completion. Uh, you can actually control the player from your WordPress site. You know, like if you don't want people to be able to rewind or fast forward the video um, or, or uh, you know, don't allow people to go full screen and stuff like that. Uh, these are also features within the advanced videos add-on. But just to show you how easy it is, if you are new to um, building an online course website with WordPress, all you got to do is install Lifter LMS, which is the best learning management system for WordPress. I've got it set up here. Um, I've already done some work on this site. You know, I've got a bunch of courses on here and I've got my membership set up. So this is more of an academy style site 
with multiple courses, but you could just have one course. Uh, but you can see as we get inside of a course, um, you know, we've got our uh, lesson content. So if I look inside this lesson, if I click edit lesson, um, you can see here, I've got the video embed URL right here. And that's what puts the video inside the lesson content. I could also just go right up in here into the content and paste that video link and drop it in that way too. One of the benefits of using this area down here is that it unlocks a lot of those features I was just telling you about in the advanced videos out on. But if you're kind of new, I just want to show you how easy it is to create a course. So we're just going to go to courses. I'm going to click add course. And uh, I'll just call this awesome course. And we'll just go ahead and publish that for demonstration purposes. And over here, you launch what's called the course builder. So this is the one screen view of building an online course. I'm creating a lesson there, or a, um, a section. Then I'm gonna put a couple lessons inside of it, maybe another section and some more lessons. And you can see this is similar to building like a table of contents um, for an online course. So if we were to look at it, it just looks like this. You know, we've started to build out our course. You know, of course we can put more content up here and there's no content inside of our lessons yet, but that's what we're doing. We're building a course. I'm gonna click, uh, well, first I'm gonna go to Vimeo as an example. This is my beekeeping video. Um, let's see, this one's privacy. It's got a uh, privacy on it, so it's not gonna be shareable. Vimeo landscape. So I'm just grabbing any video off Vimeo, and this is actually the um, uh, the free uh, version of video, not or not video Vimeo, the free version of Vimeo, not Vimeo Pro, but just for demonstration purposes, uh, I just need a, a, a non-private Vimeo video I can grab. So I'm grabbing that one, and then over here in the course builder. I can open up this lesson here and I can put right in here the content. Um, so I've got a video and that one. Let's head on over to Wistia and I'm just going to grab the link to that video right there. And we'll put that in the next lesson here. And you can see it recognizes that's a Wistia video and I've got all these, these options there. And then let's, for fun, just grab another YouTube video. And I'm just grabbing this. This is actually the main link, not inside of the playlist. So I'm just gonna test that, make sure I got the right link. And I do. So that's the core YouTube link. And in the course builder right here, I'm just going to drop that in and you can see how these these little blue video icons are lighting up and basically what that means is we've got our um, content in these so we can take a, a look at our syllabus and know that we've already placed a video in here so now if we go out to our awesome course you can see uh, there's that Vimeo video and uh, if we go into the next lesson, you can see that Wistia video. And in that next lesson, we've got that YouTube video. Now, of course, it's a little weird to use three different video hosts in one uh, course, although technically that is possible. But um, uh, you can, I, I recommend just choosing the one that's the best for you. And even like I was showing on the Lifter LMS Academy site as an example, um, let's pull that up. These are the, the video settings in Lifter LMS where you can kind of on a, on your courses set like a global way you want the video features to work when you're using the advanced videos add on. I'll put a link to that below this video, by the way, down below. So be sure to go check out those links, but you can see here, this is the quick start course. You know, we've got the YouTube videos in action here. Um, if I go into 
the beginner's guide course. Um, this one is actually using Wistia for the videos. And I've got the advanced videos add-on enabled here. So, you, so this user can't actually click the mark complete button because they haven't finished watching the video. So it's just a quick look at how that works. But that is what it's like to basically work with videos in your online course website. You can see our awesome course is coming together here. We just need to add an image and whatnot. But you can build an incredibly powerful uh, online course, training-based membership, remote school, with a lot of video content using the three most popular video hosts, which are Vimeo Pro, Wistia, and YouTube. There'll be links to those down below. If you're looking to put those on the best, most powerful, customizable learning management system for WordPress, that's called Lifter LMS. The core Lifter LMS plugin is completely free. So if you go inside of your WordPress website, just like I'm doing right here, and you go to plugins and you click add new, I've already got it installed, but you would just do a search for Lifter LMS and uh, you can see it, it's right here. I've already got it installed and activated, but that's what you're looking for for the world's most customizable, powerful learning management system for WordPress with the most advanced video options through our advanced videos add-on. Um, like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I wanted to share an exclusive resource with you called the WordPress LMS Buyer's Guide, which has helped thousands and thousands of people just like you sort through issues like we're talking about right here. What is the best tech stack based on what I'm trying to do for my online course or my membership site website? So go check out that resource down below. And I wanna encourage you to just smash that like button. Go ahead and subscribe if you want more videos like this. And I wanna encourage you to keep learning, keep taking action. You have the power to lift up others through education. There's a course inside all of us and I'll see you in the next video.